Welcome to Guys Talk Knives. This is episode 155. Yes, I have my fuzzy friend here. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be good to it or to bite you. Oh. <laughs> 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 We're trying to improve the quality of the of the sound for the videos and trying to do a little bit better for you guys and just kind of change our show around more to be the podcast that it wants to be. Is that not right, TC? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you can always get a good agreement from TC even when he's not on camera. He's hanging in the cockpit right now. Right here. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. Um, this is a show where we talk about sharp and pointy things. We show you some cool stuff. Five things every episode. I'm digging hearing myself in my ears again. I'm just, I'm loving it. I think I just want to talk to myself all day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's jump in here and have a look at the first <laughs> knife before I say something even more ridiculous than that. Uh, the first knife has, it's not the circle of life. It is the tree of life. That's beautiful. <laughs> that is uh, very deep. It is deep. It is the case tree of life trapper. Uh, this is not a limited edition. I, I've tried to look up a whole bunch of stuff on this. It's just a really cool looking laser engraved uh, pocket knife that comes from case. Let's take a look at it up close and I'll tell you a little bit about this one. So this is the tree of life. I love it when Isaac leans out from the side. <laughs> Mer, I can see it now. This one does I have... I get a closer look. <laughs> we'll get him a little handheld mirror so he can, like, lean it out from the side. Uh, th this is a mirror polished True Sharp Surgical Steel bladed trapper. It is a standard trapper, which means it's four and an eighth inch closed and made in the USA by Case. Those are natural smooth bone handles, uh, and they have an antique amber color wash on them, and then they've been laser engraved to have... That's not even an actual shield. That's a laser engraved tree of life right there on the handle. Brass pins, brass liners on this knife, nail nicks, no half stops in this knife, nickel silver bolsters from Case, and this thing comes in at $95.99 uh, from Case. That is the Case Tree of Life Trapper. Now, what, what do you think that means? Because, you know, here's the funny part about this, TC, and I'll just tell you straight away. I went to look to see if Case would tell us anything about the tree of life. And they didn't. <laughs> so should we just should we just make up a fable? What? I'm sure there is a fable. There, no, we're going to make our own up. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know anything about the Tree of Life. Do you I, know about the Tree of Life? There's also a shell silver. Shell, sh bleh. That's the giving tree. Was that the giving tree? That yeah. is the giving yeah, tree. That that, the giving that, tree. You want to read something to make it cry. Read the giving right. tree. Oh, my goodness. And um, the tree was happy because the boy was, even though he was a stump. <laughs> now, I mean, it's a beautiful knife. Do not get me wrong. This is a beautiful knife. It's got the 10 dot tang stamp, but hey, TC's over there digging around to see if he can find something on the this tree is, of life. This is my job. This is right. I'm supposed to research and find out what this I love how is. his green matches the green in the back today. Look at that. See, I'm coordinating. You are. You're, you're not even complimenting your coordinating. That is fantastic. <laughs> so, um,. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking here, the Tree of Life. Uh, no, that is not. That's that's the film. That is. I, I that's, see, that's what I found <laughs> straight away. Um, Chinese mythology: a carving of a tree of life depicts a phoenix and a dragon. No. But that has nothing to do with this. No, no. So, <clears throat> I mean, I've seen it a so, lot. So, so look, let's do this then. Let's do this since we, uh, you know, it's out there, and we'll just make this call straight away. Mari Gumfuddy Ford, if you are watching this episode, please tell us about the Tree of Life on this gorgeous natural bone uh, Tree of Life trapper uh, from Case Made in the USA. Again, it's ninety five ninety nine. I think it's very, very pretty. Yes, ma'am. It looks, it, it says smooth bone, but it looks like it has a texture. Does it have a texture? It, it, it is am, the amber, the antiquing. It's almost like it's been antiqued. We can go two again so I can show you guys up close. So on two, you can see, see how that looks almost like it's wood? It's yeah. not. Um, I don't know if that's texture that's or that there are just cracks that are in natural smooth bone that end up like that when you do this antiquing with the uh, amber color in there. And then that is laser engraved. That is not an inlaid shield. Yeah. That is a laser engraved tree of life. 
uh, which is something we're going to get Mari Gum 44 to tell us all about. So um, I, I just I just found something. Um, basically, the the tree of life means everything. <laughs> So, so 46. So, no, 42. Me. What is the 40? The meaning of life is 42? That's the Hitchhiker's oh, Guide yeah, to the Galaxy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it, it means a connection to everything because you've got roots. Um, it also has uh, ties in some cultures to ancestry, family, and fertility um, as it pertains to a family tree. Uh, growth and strength. Nice. Um, also individuality because trees are unique with different branches sprouting in different points. Um, as well as immortality and rebirth in some cultures, and peace. Nice. So it means everything. Nice. <laughs> it essentially means everything. So you can get your everything knife for $95.99 yes. at smkw.com. <laughs> now, I got to say, I, I, when I looked at it up close, uh, I, I did not notice... I, you mentioned that it's not a shield. It's actually laser etched in there, and that is absolutely beautiful. I like how it's framed, and then it has the burned edges are on the outside mm -hmm. of that circular framing there. It mm -hmm. looks fantastic. Yeah, so that, that uh, ambi amb blah, 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 blah. amber tone that is on there just it makes a very, very pretty knife. Case always makes a nice collectible, and I think that probably will be a collectible as well. Yeah. So let's jump into the second one, probably my favorite thing on the table, because I have a Sinkovich fascination. Always have. This is the 0460 Ti, but this is an 0460 Ti like you have never seen it before. And that is because it is made in our very own custom shop. It is almost hound's tooth. I, I almost have to just show this to you straight away so that you get a feel for what this is. Look at this thing. That is blue and bronze anodized titanium. So this is the 0460 Ti to start off with. Our custom shop then takes this knife and they anodize it in this, that's, I swear, that's practically hound's tooth, is it not? I'm, I'm not wrong about yeah, that. That's, that's hound's tooth. <clears throat> that's, yeah. It's nice. You're talking about a knife that has a 3.25 inch CPM 20 CV blade. It's a trailing point blade, probably one of my favorite ZTs that is out there. That is a satin finish on the blade. It is 0.12 inches thick. It's a small knife, but that is a thick uh, knife right there for you at 0.12 inches thick. Manual flipper with a KVT ball bearing system. All these Sinkovich knives flip fantastically. Uh, again, it is a frame lock, and these are titanium handles that the SMKW Custom Shop uh, has uh, anodized in blue and bronze hound's tooth. Uh, it does have the tip up pocket clip. When you close this thing down, look how pretty that is closed. 4.4 inches closed. That's the front. That is the back of this knife, made in the USA. When you flip this thing, boom, right there, 7.5 inches overall, 2.9 ounces because it is titanium, made in the USA by Zero Tolerance Knife. This is an SMKW custom shop knife, the ZT0460 Ti, and we call it the BBH after that for blue and bronze uh, titanium houndstooth. Nice, yes. Yeah, so it's anodized and then laser engraved. Laser etched. Oh, is it? Yes. That's how they get the brown on well, the blue. Well. It's laser etched. Nice. So they anodized this blue, the yes. titanium blue first, and then they did a laser then they did etch. The lasers. And that Correct. takes that makes it and look like burnt bronze. Nice. Stuff that goes with the laser thing that makes nice. it the brown. The laser. <laughs> the laser. The chemical thing works just fine. <laughs> so this knife is two fifty at smkw.com. It is uh, $250 uh, for this custom version of that. Uh, I know on a lot of the other customs, we take handles off. These are the original handles, so you're not gonna get a separate set of handles on these. These are the original titanium handles that come on the 0460 Ti. <coughs> what do you think of this thing, TC? I like it. It's got a great action. We were talking about that earlier. Um, it And I like the hound's tooth, uh, especially uh, some fans from the south of us <laughs> um, might enjoy the hound's tooth uh, finish as well. Uh, their little Bear Bryant 0460 Ti. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the knife, uh, the design uh, in and of itself, the action that's on this knife is just absolutely beautiful. Um, I have always loved this knife. It's probably the, the reason that I really dug into Dmitry Sinkovich's work in general, and this knife is fabulous. 
Uh, again, it's $250 at smkw.com. If you have not taken a moment to go and look at our SMKW custom shop, it's right in the menu that is at the top of the screen on smkw.com. You can literally just go over there and click it, and you'll see everything that's in our custom shop. We've got custom uh, Spider Co., custom Benchmade, custom ZT. Uh, I, Yes, yes. And yeah, so we have a, a video that will drop that dropped yesterday on our Yeah, it dropped yesterday. Because yeah. today's Thursday. <laughs> we just blew his mind. Yes. We're wa- I just we're, watched we're, it we're explode. Doing the, the, the taped version. <laughs> yes, yes. Just yeah. watched it explode. That's right? <laughs> That's right. His flux capacitor broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so since this is airing on Thursday, your video that was on the shipwreck with Alex aired I yesterday. Really with me all I know. <laughs> he was like, I don't remember seeing Shane and Patrick. <laughs> what, what, where, where are we? Wait, uh, I know the Rona's bad, but it took my memory. <laughs> That's what this whole last week has felt like. Just zip right through it and right. gone. Uh, so that is the second knife in our lineup today. The next knife that I have up is a knife that we have been waiting on forever. We had forever a canoe in this series. Finally, all of the Old West series from Rough Rider is starting to trickle in. I have the Salbelly Stockman in my hand. This is one of the favorite things that uh, when, when Kevin Pipes and I talk about knives that we've designed in the traditional series, the different series that are out there, we both talk about this being probably one of our favorite favorite series and we've waited what four years for at this least. thing at least and it's because the handles are so intricate we designed these actually i designed these and then uh they have to do all the work to fit them into each of the different different traditional patterns that are out there i'm going to show it to you up close just so you can see what all is here so you're talking about the old wow old southwest series in my hand is a sow belly stockman uh, the blades, all 440A, all have uh, half stops and match strike pulls and heavy swedging. You can see that in all the blades. The main blade in all of the Southwest series has a frosted blade etch that says Old Southwest. It actually comes off. I am not a huge fan of frosted blade etches, but this is just, it turns out to make this knife easy, even nicer. Now, you cannot uh, get rid of the elephant in the room. It's those handles. That's not printed on there. This is nickel silver. It is 3D. It is like it is embossed into the handle. Then you have mother of pearl and red synthetic inlay. You have turquoise inlay as well. And then on both sides of this knife, you have in these nickel silver bolsters, a turquoise inlay in the lead bolster. (coughs) This series all had, every single one of the knives in this series has all of those features pretty, pretty brass liners on that. And there, you can see the inlay that's happening on the back end of that knife. Look how nice that is done. And that's why these took so long, so much to get through on these knife. And you're talking about a knife on this Sow Belly Stockman that is 3.75 inches closed and it's just $19.99. I'm gonna choke to death for here for a second so TC or somebody else t- talk while I uh, <clears throat> unchoke myself. Those things are absolutely beautiful. You'd probably and, go uh, to one on the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those. Uh, <clears throat> well, the, I'll, I'll 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 spare you on that one. Um, <laughs> so you can go ahead and. Uh, Where's my expel oxygen those demons Isaac? there? Um, <laughs> the absolutely beautiful handles on those. I mean, um, for real. Those are absolutely gorgeous. I, and you know, I gotta say, so growing up for me. Turquoise was one of my grandmother's favorite things, mm-hmm. like all of her jewelry and stuff. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> very cowboy oriented, very uh, uh, Southwest style. Mm-hmm. And um, I love the turquoise. I love the pattern. It's just beautiful. So you look at the art, the art of the art, uh, the Aztec influence on Southwest indigenous people's art. That is exactly what this came from. And uh, that's where I drew the inspiration to do these. And I tried to be as respectful of that as possible. But this is just an amazing, amazing knife uh, series. And you're talking about a bow trapper is coming in this. Yeah. Everything is almost here. So go have a look at this series. There's only four up right now, uh, but there are more coming in this series. And something you did mention is that it's a, it's, it feels solid yes. in hand. 
And it weighs 4.25 ounces. Yes, so it, it is. So it is heavier than you would expect. Yes, these are not these are not a slouch knife at all. Uh, it is heavy in hand, and it's because it's all that nickel silver is right there in this handle. Fabulous, $19.99. That's the Old Southwest Sow Belly. Go on the site. We'll try to get you a link to find you everything else that's on these. But uh, these are coming in. Hopefully, they'll be here soon. Hopefully, they'll be here in time for Christmas. Go check those out. New brand that we have not covered yet at all on this show. New brand called Castillo. They are Spanish-made knives. I have one in a pouch right here. This is a leather pouch that they come with. Mm -mm -mm, this is a Navaja. I think these are beautiful versions of traditional Spanish knives made with modern materials. I'm going to open this one up. It is a two-hand opener. It is a lockback, but this is a pretty, 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 pretty little knife. Navaja, actually, according to Castillo, means razor huh. in Spanish, or at least in Spain, a Navaja would be considered a razor, and they've tried to take all of the different attributes of a traditional Navaja razor knife and really, really bring that into this particular knife. In fact, if we go to, I'll tell you everything that's in here. <clears throat> this uh, Castillo Navaja features a three inch Sandvik steel 14C 28N stainless steel clip point blade with a gorgeous satin finish. It is 0.08 inches thick. <clears throat> Those are pine green micarta handles. It does actually have black G10 underliners, which I thought was great. While we're back here, you can see the lockback that's in the back. You can see the file work in the spine. You can see the jimping that's right up on the front of that knife. Um, and then it also has the lanyard tube with the actual leather lanyard tail, I like to call these, brass pins, and then you have a bird's eye pivot, which is a steel pivot uh, right there up at the front of this knife. Uh, it's going to come with some cool stuff. It comes with the Castillo uh, pouch. This is a genuine leather pouch, and I can see that it starts to wear almost immediately, which means it's going to be gorgeous in and out of your pocket uh, just sooner rather than later. You're going to look like you have a vintage leather pouch that comes with this. You also get a ballastol wipe in the box, so it's a single-use ballastol wipe so that you can clean up uh, your knife and all of that. It's 3.5 inches closed. Let me take down the uh, lock right there. There's the front of the knife. Here's the back of the knife. Again, it is a two-hand opener, lock back. And uh, when it's closed, it is 3.5 inches closed. When it's open, it is 6.5 inches overall and weighs just 2.4 ounces. Made in Spain, this is a company called Castillo, and they are making some very, very pretty knives that we have just added to the site. You're talking about $109 at smkw.com. What do you think of that, Melina? I think it's awesome. Um, I like the handles on it. I like the lock back on it. The lock is secure, right? I yes, mean, very, that, very. It seemed that way to me when I yeah. played with it for a minute. It's also interesting they used a hollow grind on it, it looks like, from here, uh, which is what you would use on a razor. Yes, good point. Yeah. Very good point. should also make this thing slicey, slicey. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That was maniacal. Navaha. <laughs> Now, there's also about eight different models in that. Yes. And all of them are beautiful. <laughs> Boo. With different handle materials and whatnot. Mm -mm -mm. That is good stuff right there. Digging it for sure. You're talking about $109 at smkw.com, and she's right. There are several different handle materials on the site. If you go to Castillo brand, you're going to see all of these. Uh, I'm going to slip this back in its pouch so that you can see how that looks in the pouch. But, yeah. Nice right there. You can use the lanyard cord to pull it out, but that's going to slip in your pocket really, really nicely. Uh, go check out all the Castillo knives at smkw.com. Last but not least, we've got more T10 carbon steel flipping action yes. from Rough Rider. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, you know what's funny is, because I don't usually get to name uh, the uh, different flippers and stuff like that, we're putting a whole lot more naming class into the reserve line and that kind of stuff, and we always name our series something special. I love that the folders that we get are just like, clip point tactical. <laughs> <laughs> this is a brand new Rough Rider knife. This is the Rough Rider clip point tactical folder. It is a manual folder. It does have a ball bearing system in it. Uh, it's T10 carbon steel. Boo. T10 carbon steel. Let's take a look at it up close and I'll tell you about what's all here in this particular knife. 
Uh, it is a 3.25 inch carbon T10 carbon steel clip point blade with a satin finish. Uh, very interesting spine at the top of that knife. Nice grind lines, 0.12 inches thick. You're talking about a manual flipper. You're also talking about a thumb hole that is on this particular knife. Tan G10 handles, and then it has the carbon fiber overlay on it. It is a liner lock with steel liners. It does have the removable but not reversible tip-up pocket clip. Uh, when you close it down, it is 4.5 inches closed. That is what the front looks like right there. Here is what the back looks like right there. Look at the nice Rough Rider that ends up on the pocket clip. Nice laser etched Rough Rider on the pocket clip. When you open this thing up, it is 7.5 inches overall and weighs in at just 3.2 ounces. Now, here is the absolute kicker, TC. I'm just not gonna lie about this thing. $17.99 for a carbon steel flipper. I like it. I like it for the Clip Point Tactical. <laughs> Clip Point Tactical. <laughs> One day we'll have somebody just noting the amount of spit that comes out of my mouth when I do that. Uh, I mean, you can't beat this. You no. guys, you got people on your Christmas list. It's coming up. It's coming up. You've got people on your Christmas list that are not knife nuts like you are who are just getting into this kind of thing. This is a kind of knife you would do, right? Yeah, that's an, that's an everyday user knife, and it's going to work every time. 18 bucks, and if they're into sharpening, they can learn to sharpen on a carbon steel alloy knife, and that's exactly. what this is. It's an ally. <laughs> that was your microphone, sweetheart. It was funny with the earphones now. That was in our brains. Wasn't oh, it? yeah. It was it was deep in there. It was like... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thor has come back. <laughs> I, will, I will say your microphone's definitely working. It is... Uh... 3.2 ounces, $17.99 at smkw.com. T10, a carbon steel. Nice little flipper. And I like what you said about if you want to learn how to sharpen, that's a great knife because it's going to be, it's going to take an edge really well. Yep. Um, and it's going to be a lot easier to learn on something like that. Now let's see if the flippers from Rough Rider live up to the uh, cutting that the traditionals do because we know that they like to bite you. I don't know about <laughs> this. We're going to see. Oh, that was a boo. No. Oh, you're I'm losing the paper. There we go. There it was. That I had was to find good, the right that was, spot. That was nice. I had to find the right spot. Some knives are just a little bit oh, different than others. Yeah. The just, slow cut. Yeah. I was kind of just jamming it on there. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> jam it in. Apparently, it works like scissors if you slice with it. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, though, man, if you've got somebody at work that you want to buy a Christmas present, one of these T10 carbon uh, carbon steel flippers would be a great, great thing to do. Uh, and that way, you're not out a ton of money. They get a great little knife, and uh, they feel great. I mean, how many times have you watched somebody, when you give them a knife, just... It's a different reaction, yeah, is it not? Yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone gets excited over a knife. It's, it's, a, it's not only a tool, but it's something that is fun to receive because there's almost that sense of danger that goes along with it. So yes. it's, it makes it a little bit more exciting. You're like, wow, this is dangerous. I mean, <laughs> I, I have taken back to that kid stage. My my niece is like one of the greatest people to give a knife at Christmas time ever. Uh, she's an adult now, but even back in the day, 15, 16, 17 years old, this person that you would never think would want a knife, every time it went in the white elephant, oh, I've got to have the knife. Let me have the sword. Give me the thing. It's just, it's thing. And, it, and it, it is fabulous. If you've never done that for somebody, do it. Because yeah. giving a gift as a knife is just a great thing to do. Are we boring you? Yes. <laughs> She's already <laughs> yawning her head off. We are going to wrap up because that was our last knife of the day, guys. We are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. If you haven't been to our showroom in Sevierville, please come visit. That is right at I-40, exit 407. Uh, you just go up. The, there's a light now. Yeah. We don't even have to yeah. say wait for the bridge. we got a new traffic light. Go to the traffic light. Turn right. You'll be in the building. You can actually turn before that if you want to. But look for the big blue roof. You cannot miss the building. 108,000 square feet of showroom space. 
fun stuff at Christmas time to come and just enjoy with your family. Then go see the lights up at Dollywood. Go to the Stampede and watch the horses ride around, eat some food with your hands, yeah. do all that fun <laughs> stuff that you can do in the Pigeon Forge Gatlinburg area. And of course, visit the Smoky Mountains, most visited national park in the country. It's great in the wintertime, just like it is in the summertime. Yeah. Uh, fabulous to go up and see that. Go to the retail store. Now, pay attention to everything that's coming out online. Make sure that you're following us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube especially. We're dropping out all those videos and it's the best and easiest place to get notified. All you have to do is ring that notification bell and your phone's going to bling every time we drop a new video, including this video that dropped today, including the lives that happen on Tuesdays with Guys Talk Knives, including every video that Isaac and TC put together. Just we're just going to keep putting more and more content out there. And as we get closer to the end of the year, I think you're going to see a lot of great, great stuff come out from us. So make sure you're doing all of that. Uh, we're open 24 seven at smkw.com. Uh, lots of great things coming in the future. Shop with us there. Uh, anybody got anything else they need to announce at this moment? We can rewarp uh, Isaac back into the the time now, I think, because we're going to do the live next Have time. you caught up with us, Isaac? Are you, are you there? <laughs> okay guys we're gonna get out of here tc has been running the board in the cockpit right there melina has been joining us to help the conversation along and remind us of things that we completely forget about the knives that we show you my name is andy isaac Sidney. you can't see him in the shot but my name is andy this has been another episode of guys talk knives we will see you on tuesday take it easy